This is Mr. Jarvis with Better Late Than Never Homework Help for October 18th, and we had a staff meeting, so I was busy. So an aquarium, an aquarium has exhibits that feature different marine animals. Five-eighths of the staff are male. Five-twelfths of the staff works part-time. What fraction of the staff's female? They're asking us, we're assuming those that aren't male, they're, they're female, the rest are female. Uh, they're asking us nothing about who works part-time. So I could just completely disregard that. So the part I'm thinking about, five-eighths are male. So um, so how much, what fraction would re represent all the workers? One whole. That will, that would be eight-eighths. Here are all the workers. So what I'm going to do is if I take away the males, minus five, eighths, I'm going to assume the rest are female. So eight minus five, I'm left with three eighths female. So that's kind of the trick when we get into word problems. I'll often throw in some uh, information we, we don't need to know who works part time. They didn't ask us what fraction of the staff is female. That's all we have to answer. So took the whole eight eighths is one whole and subtracted the five eighths. So the next one's kind of tricky as well. A baby otter is born three-fourths of a month early. Okay, let's see what they're asking us before I even think about that three-fourths. At birth, its weight is seven-eighths of a kilogram, which is nine-tenths of a kilogram less than the average weight of a newborn otter in the aquarium. What's the average weight? So it's seven-eighths, and that's nine-tenths to nine-tenths less. So, so the average one is weighs nine tenths kilograms more than seven eighths. Okay, so what I need to go is seven eighths plus nine tenths. Now here's the tricky part. I got to find. I can't add eighths and tenths. I need to find a common denominator. So I start with a larger number and I write multiples. And I see, is are any of these multiples divisible by 8? 10, no. 20, no. 30, no. 40, though, yeah. 8 times 5 is 40. So I'm going to rewrite 7 eighths as something over 40. What did I multiply that 8 by to get 40? I multiplied it by 5. So I also multiply the numerator by, by 5, and I get 35. 40th. So I basically multiplied 7 eighths by 1 as represented by 5 fifths. Okay. Plus, so what do I multiply the 10 by to get 40? I multiply it by 4. So I multiply 10 by 4. I also multiply the 9 by 4. And I get 36. And I'm going to get one of those improper fractions. I'm going to get 71 fortieths. So as we remember, we simply divide. So if I, 40 fortieths is one whole. So um, that leaves me with the remainder of 31 fortieths. And I kind of did it quickly because I'm running late. But if I divided it, I would say 71 uh, divided by 40 goes one time with 31 left over. That's my new numerator. All right, so that kind of gets you have just be careful what they're asking for. What's the average weight? And then think about how you can find it. Today was, was kind of tricky. Um, so good luck with that. And we'll talk about them at school tomorrow, if necessary.